Hello everyone! This tutorial will show you how to download and use custom icon fonts in Android. There are a lot of free open source icon fonts on the internet. In this demonstration I will use the iconic fonts. So first we will download the icons from the web page and then after you download the icons go to the Android Studio and right click on the res folder. Choose the show in Explorer option. Then create a new folder naming it assets and inside of the assets one more folder named fonts. Uh, now open the downloaded font library and search for the file which has a TTF extension. In this pack it is placed inside of the fonts folder. Copy the file and paste it into the fonts directory in the Android project. Ok, now we will manage these icons. Let's create a new class which will be responsible for loading these icons. In order to avoid memory leaks we will make the static instance. So create a new static hash table which has a string as a key and a typeface object as a value. Then create a new method with the following parameters. String path which represents a path to the icon pack and also on context that is requesting these icons. Now we will access the hash table to see if the icons are already loaded into the memory. If they are not loaded, so if they are null, we will load icons from the assets folder. And we can do that by calling the typeface dot create from asset method. It takes two parameters. First is asset manager which we reference by using the parametered context and also a path to the icon pack. Uh, then we add this instance to our hash table and in the end we just return the icon instance. Uh, so in this way we avoid recreating new instances of the icons during the lifetime of our app. Ok, next step is to choose icons that you need and reference them into the app. First open the cheats sheet paper that comes with the font pack and pick the icon that you like. After you have picked the icon copy its value in the HTML format. Now go back to Android Studio and open string resources file create a new string resource and name it as you wish then paste the copied HTML value from the icon that you have just previously selected. Alright, now we must go to the layout file and use a text view as a placeholder for this icon. What you need to do is to just change the text to the name that you have just defined in string, in string resources file and uh, there is one more step left. Uh, we need to load the icon pack when the app starts. So in the main activity class we first make an instance of our class icon manager then simply we use find view by id method to reference the text view on which the icon will be showed. And then we call the set typeface method here we pass the method that we defined in the icon manager class and we pass we also provided a path to the font pack and also a current context which we can use a keyword this because we are in the on create method and that's it uh, let's see the emulator as you can see we are getting the right icon and if you want like to resize this icon you can just increase the text size property in the text view like so and as you see the icon is now bigger okay that's all for now see you in the next video bye bye